हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक आफ्टर अ ब्रीफ डिले टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज एपीआईज यूजिंग ए2019 ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर आल्सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द रेस्ट वेब सर्विस एंड द सोप वेब सर्विस एंड हाउ टू यूज इट यूजिंग ए2019 ऑटोमेशन एनीवेयर सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू to watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will be discussing during this entire video if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you get all the latest notifications and updates whenever we post any video on on our youtube channel so without any further delay let us start our discussion for today So first of all we will discuss what is an API an API is a set of programming code that enables the data transmission between one software product and another API is also referred to as application programming interface it also contains the term for data exchange now let us understand the concept of API through this diagram whenever we want to get some information regarding any topic we send in the query through our browser application that is we request the browser to get the required information that we have requested so the user will send in the request over the internet and once the once the information is being requested the server the server on the back end side will process that request and try to retrieve all the required information requested by the user and will send in the result through the response so this is how the api works that is in short the user will request or send the request over the internet to achieve or to attain the result and the server on the back end side will process that information and send in the results through the response to the user and the user will be able to see all the required results of the request so this is how an api communicates between uh, the client and the server a2019 automation anywhere provides two commands to handle the api request one is the rest web services and second is the so ap web services so rest web services provide action that are used to perform web services operation so there are various commands or sub commands that are provided under the rest web services which are as follows one is the delete method second is get method third is patch next is post and one is put method so first of all we will use the get method to retrieve the data from the web services so i have used requres.in/api/user2 website to to re retrieve the data from this website so first of all i'll show you what it what this website contains so this website contains the data in this form and we want to retrieve the whole data first and then we will retrieve the partial that is the specific email specific headers and the specific values of the data that is contained in this req res.in website so coming back to the automation anywhere web uh, tool so we have entered the uri in the uri field if there is an authentication that is required in your website so you need to provide the authentication method that is no authentication basic logged in ad user ndlm authentication so this website since this website has no authentication so we will select the no authentication mode and we will store the output in the form of dictionary variable so we have created a dictionary variable called v dictionary which will store all the data that will be retrieved from this website 
so in the message box we have put the body as the message to display that is v dictionary body so it will display the output or it will display the output that is the whole data that is contained within that website so first of all we will run the bot so the bot so now i have run the bot it is downloading the dependencies once the dependencies are downloaded it will the bot agent will notify the system and the bot will start running and as you can see the data from that website has been retrieved so this is how we can use the get method of the rest web services so the bot has run successfully next command that we will see is the put method command this command is basically used to replace the information that is present in the form of entity and that has been identified by the requested URI. So this method basically replaces the information that has been identified by the requested URI. So now we will see the functionality of put method. So drag and drop the put method command. Once you have drag and drop this command, give the URI or the uniform resource identifier from which in which you want to replace the information. Select the authentication mode if applicable, otherwise select no authentication mode. And then select the content type that is in which your data is in the form. So I have selected JSON that is application slash JSON. And there are various other content types such as XML, application slash XML within brackets and then the text which is normally in the plain text or the text format then we have the xml again in the form of text slash xml uh, and the last is the html which is in the form of text or html form so select the required content type in the custom parameters you can select the parameters if applicable and then store the output to a dictionary variable once you have done this then run the program to check whether the flow of this command is running successfully or not so now we will run the program to run the program or the bot click on run button and once you click on run button, the bot will be deployed on the system on which you are running. So it will download the packages and then it will, the, the bot agent will be reflected on the right hand side bottom. And as you can see, the bot has run successfully and this command has replaced all the information with its information that which has been identified in the form of identity so this is how you can use the put so this is how you can use the put method command under the rest web services command and that we will discuss is the post method command the post method command is basically used to create or add the information in the form of entity that is identified by the requested URI. So now we will see the functionality of post method command. So drag and drop this post method command and in the enter the URI field, enter the URI from which you want to post the information. In the authentication mode, select the authentication mode applicable as per your requirement if you have the username and password through which you want to extract the information after entering the credentials so select the credential mode that is no basic logged in ad user ad means active directory user 
or the NTLM authentication. So since the URI in since the URI which we are using does not contain the authentication, so we will select the no authentication mode. And in the content type, select the content type as JSON, application JSON. And in the custom parameters, enter the custom parameter as per your requirement. If you select, if you check the add header chatbot that is enabled, so it will basically add the information over here. So let's see by running the bot. Before running the bot, we will click on save button. Now we will run the bot. Once the bot, once you click on run the bot, the bot will be deployed on the system. Once we click on run the bot, the bot will be deployed on the system. And the, all the preloaded packages or the packages that are required, that are required for the bot will be downloaded on the system. And as you can see, the bot has run successfully. If you enable this chat, if you enable this, then the then the value of all the headers, that is the value that are stored in the URI, will be reflected over here. So you can try this by enabling the chat bots and let me know if you face any problem or not. The next command that we will discuss is the patch method command. The patch method command is basically used to replace or partially replace the information in the form of entity that is identified by the requested URI. So now we will see the functionality of the patch method command. So drag and drop the patch method command. Once we have dragged and dropped the command in the enter the URI field, enter the URI field from which you want to partially replace the information. So I have given this requres.in slash API slash users URI. If you have the authentication mode and uh, while logging into the URI, so then select the authentication mode applicable to your uniform resource identifier if you do not have any uh, if you do not have any authentication mode then select the no authentication mode and then in the content type select json application json which is by default selected in the custom parameter field enter the parameters from the requested uri and then and then store the output in the dictionary variable once you have entered all the properties then click on save and then give the message box to display the output so the so to display the output so the response is stored in as the is so the response stored is in the form of v dictionary body so the body B of body should be capital since it is case sensitive. Now we will run the bot. So as you can see the message that has been displayed is name Morpheus, job is Zion resident and the updation time and date is being displayed. So this is how we can use the patch method of the rest web services command and the bot has run successfully. So to replace the information or to partially replace the information, we can use the patch method of the rest web services command. Last command that we will discuss is the delete method command. 
The delete method command is used to delete the information in the form of an entity that is identified by the requested URI. So now we will see the functionality of delete method command. So drag and drop the delete method command. Once you have dragged and dropped the delete method command, enter the URI from which you want to delete the information and select no authentication mode since we do not require any login to this URI. After you have selected the no authentication mode, select the content type as none and assign the output to a dictionary variable and then click on save. Now to check the output, we will use the message box command and in that we will give v dictionary body b of body should be capital since it is case sensitive. Now we will run the bot to check whether we get any output or not. So as you can see, the bot has run successfully. So this is how you can use the delete method command of the REST web services. So in today's video, we discussed about what is REST web services and the various subcommands that are present under the REST web services package. Please watch this video and if you have any queries, then please feel free to reach out to me with your queries and I will be more than happy to resolve all your queries. If you like the video, then please subscribe and share to as many people so that everyone can get the benefit out of this video. And also please hit the notification icon so that you do not miss out on any of the videos that we will be posting in the future on this channel. Till then, have a great day.